Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome in if you are new. Today I'm going to be running through the basics of lip product application. So I first walk through the basic application of a three-step process that's kind of the traditional lip product route, and then I go through some alternative options near the end of the video if the three-step option at the beginning is just not quite your style. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so starting with a classic lip product application, we have three steps. First step is lip liner, the second step is a lipstick, and the third step is a gloss. You do not have to do all three of those steps every time. You can mix and match, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna go through each of those steps and give my tips and tricks. One of my top recommendations for all three of those products is to start out with something fairly close to your natural lip color for each of them, just as you're getting used to the application process, and then move into some more bold and fun colors as you get used to these steps. So first things first, I have a lip liner here and mine is the NYX Slim Lip Pencil in the shade Nude Pink. And I found that this is just a perfect lip liner color for me because it goes well underneath almost everything. And you'll see here, it's almost identical to my natural lip color. So it really just helps define the lips and add just that layer to prep my lips for lipstick. So I prefer to apply lip liner just in kind of two rows here, and then I smudge it out with my finger a little. And that's it, so I'm gonna do the top lip and I'll be right back. Now that I have that lip liner on the top and bottom lips smudged in, I will go ahead and move into the lipstick phase of this three-step progression. So I have four products here that are more or less the same tone of pink, and I'll have the, all four of them listed down below in the description box in case you're curious. But my intention here is more so to show you that there can be multiple different formulas for lipstick and you'll have to do a little bit of trial and error to find out what you prefer the most in terms of application and in terms of how long it wears on your lips. Okay, so first up here is a matte lipstick and I'll go ahead and swatch that here. And you can see there's almost no shine to it. Most of that shine you're seeing is just because there's good lighting. So a matte lipstick tends to last longer on your lips. However, it does dry them out. So if you're gonna wear that, I actually recommend that you start with a lip balm underneath just to help keep your lips hydrated. Next, I have what is considered a velvet finish according to the company. And it is essentially just a little more uh, shiny and smooth and velvety than the top one. So you'll see there's just a little bit of extra sheen, more or less the same color. Again, I'm a little bit redundant with my lips. Um, I just prefer a certain color. And this formula is gonna stay well as well. It's a liquid formula. And third on the list here, I have a satin. So again, this is kind of an in-between. Um, it's a little shinier, just like the one above it, which was velvet, satin, velvet, honestly kind of the same at the end of the day, but I wanted to show you um, in kind of more of a stick form, it gives a similar finish to that liquid uh, above it. And then last one here, I believe this is going to be a pretty drastically different color, but just for demonstration purposes, this lipstick is a sheer formula. So it's uh, much more hydrating and you can see it's not quite as opaque as the others. And I like this formula, especially on days when I want a little bit of a lower maintenance lip, but I do still want the color of a lipstick. So for today, I'm gonna go ahead and use the satin. Uh, this is from ColourPop and I just go ahead and draw this on. So you'll see I put it on my bottom lip and then before applying it to anywhere on the top, I actually rub my lips together and transfer some of that color. And then I go in and fill in just any parts that I feel like are kind of missing it. So you can see after I fill this side in and there's a little more defined shape. 
And for the third step in this kind of traditional lip product application, we'll go ahead and add a lip gloss on top for a little bit of added shine, as well as to give the illusion of fuller lips. So there are two typical types of lip gloss. Some lip glosses have glitter reflex or some sort of sparkly quality to them. And some lip glosses do not have that glitter. And instead it's just the fact that they're uh, kind of a slipperier material that makes them shiny on your lips. So my two top picks are the NYX Butter Gloss for a non-sparkly version and the Milani Keep It Full Plumping Lip Gloss for one that has a little bit of glitter in it. And I haven't used this Milani one in a while, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that today, even though the rest of my look is kind of more casual. So I just go ahead and I start, I concentrate it in the center of my lip. So I just add it to kind of that center part and then rub my lips together just like I did on those other steps. And then I go and add just a little bit of product on the edges. And you can see that that just added a crazy amount of shine to my lip look. Now that we've looked at kind of those three classic categories of lip products, so the lip liner, the lipstick, and the lip gloss, I'll go ahead and just throw out a couple alternative options to that more classic step and progression of lip products. So the first thing that I have here is uh, the Just a Tint Stick from ColourPop. And this provides just a nice, even natural layer of subtle sheer color. So even more sheer than this lipstick down here, this product is going to barely give you color and instead just add some nice shine to your lips without it being an actual gloss either. For something even a little more subtle than the ColourPop Just a Tint, I really highly recommend the Honest Beauty tinted lip balms. That's going to hydrate your lips and add just a tiny bit of color. And you really don't need any other lip products with that because it is a little bit shiny because it's a balm. It adds a little bit of color like a lipstick. And then because it's not super heavy, um, you don't need the lip liner as much to kind of keep it in place. And my third and last alternative recommendation is to find a really unique lip product that's kind of a standout all on its own. And for me, that product is this right here from Lipstick Queen. And I'll go ahead and insert a photo with this on my lips. Um, it's in the shade Trance, but they make quite a few that are like this. And it's fairly sheer and it has so a little bit of glitter in there and it's kind of a fun almost purplish color and so that combination of factors really makes it an interesting lip look without any lip liner lip gloss nothing included and so i love having this around for if i'm going to a special event or going out for the night because it's really a one and done product for me all right i hope you enjoyed this little mini lip product tutorial today if you did, please consider liking and commenting down below, as well as subscribing to my channel. All of those actions really help me grow on YouTube, and I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.